I guess with no fab day, can up down there because I had to bust some nuts because I know in about 10 days, um, I haven't been busting any nuts. Yeah, you guys, it was a pretty, pretty decent day today, pretty decent day today. Um, didn't do too, didn't do anything special really. It was, um, oh, I woke up, um, I woke up, woke up, um, I did my run, of course. It's actually slowly, which I'm somewhat proud of. Slowly starting to become like an ingrained habit. I woke up, I ran a mile, came back in. I wasn't running anyway, but I came back in and did my push-ups. Still feel sore. Speaking of the shower, uh, today's day one of three of the cold shower challenge. So I got in the cold shower, man, and um, I was doing a little, you know, the, you know, the little... Tip, tip your fingers and that tip your toes and then I, and I almost didn't do it. I was gonna say I'm gonna do it tomorrow, but I already knew that if I push off tomorrow, I, it, 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 whenever you push things off, it makes it easier for you to just to push it off even further. And so I did, it and it felt good. Now I think a lot of you, my shower doesn't get like the coldest as I'm getting the cramp right now in my foot. I'm trying to play it like it don't hurt, but it hurts. Um, my shower doesn't get that cold, but it it, it does a job. It does a job. Um, so I felt good. Um, my morning routine is pretty solid, man. Then I ate, I meditated. My morning routine is really pretty solid, man. I must say, pretty solid. But my night routine is what I have to get better, get, get better at. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start trying to go to get be in bed by three. Damn, I'm gonna start being in bed by three a.m. rather than close to four, like being in bed by three. Um, to give me like close to eight hours of sleep. Um. Yeah, eventually like two, then maybe even one, then maybe even twelve a.m. But um, yeah. Um, let me check up the time. But yeah, then I, I I was off today, but um, I came in today just to get a couple hours done. But um, yeah, man, it's all about improving. It's all about implementing different habits, and because eventually, at some point, no fab can't take you anywhere. It's all about what you've learned on your streak and what you and just the new habits you've done what you you know just the new the new people you met everything can't be about you know everything can't be about no fab this no fab that you don't take 600 and you're still you know make talk about no fab and no fab this at some point you have to get into a different phase of your life and um when i had that day 90 no i said when um i'm gonna make a few no fab videos but i'm not gonna just be because i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna just I'm not gonna think about it anymore. Um, it's gonna be in the past, and make I make a few videos like I can see myself now making. You know how to overcome urges. How to, I feel like those videos would be so empowering to make because I feel like I'd be in a different place mentally, you know, and spiritually, obviously, of course. Just overall, once I get to that point where I can actually make videos helping, not I can actually make videos from actual experience of how to get past urges and things, and how to get past other mental and emotional problems. So I can't wait for that. But um, I, speaking of emotion, I, I want to talk about one thing. Porn doesn't help with second like emotions. I feel like I'm too like a too much for of uh, like an emotional guy. Like um, I, 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 of course, porn has a part to play in it. But um, I feel like um, I think it's just that negative vibe porn gives off. But um, if somebody says something that I don't agree with, it's like I always um like I get I get kind of upset pretty quick. Um. I always think the worst. I always put myself as a victim. It really does suck. Like when you, it's like when somebody says something to you that can just they can just be joking, and you know I'll take it to heart, and I'll be thinking about it for a while. I'm like, damn, you know. Then I had this time. I'm thinking like, damn, how come? Why do I think these thoughts? And I just, it's pretty crazy because the, the mind is pretty, the mind is pretty powerful, man. You literally, a thought can literally just shape your whole entire life. Just a couple of thoughts can literally just ruin your day and it's just crazy but um other than that posture is still improving um so I have to welcome my eye contact my speaking slowing down speaking but I'm doing coach hours now I'm running getting happy stolen grains if I can tune up my night routine like start reading at night just putting the video games down um <laughs> I'll be getting better man I was getting myself I'll be, I'll be a force for people to be reckoned with but you know um, I'll start to really start to improve if I can get this night routine in and actually get eight, eight hours of sleep. But um, yeah, yeah, you guys, things are looking up. Things are looking up, definitely. Slow but steady wins the race. Slow but steady wins the race. 
I'll see you guys soon. We're going double digits. Um, see you guys soon. Remember, you know, whenever you have, if you have a habit that you're trying to do, whatever you're trying, you have something trying to improve in, do it. Do it if you if you're gonna do it on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays. Do it. Do not. Don't don't do don't do not do your habit because you don't feel like it. You know you can't really improve in life if you don't do things that you don't want to do. Um, it's all about that mental strength, you guys. So I'll see you guys soon, and as always, don't relapse.